That's disgusting. That's disgusting. Disgusting. The particular person standing in the doorway looking straight at me does nothing to settle my racing heart, much less the fact that I'm not even supposed to be in here. She's very interested. Sorry. I mean, I quickly try to stammer out something, but the words keep catching in my throat. It's a weird, like, you see, like, the line, like, she's like, yeah, yeah. I got, I got, like, distracted by that for a second. She's disembodied. Yeah. Oh, it's Vending Machine Girl. Aren't you Vending Machine Girl? Yeah, right. Allison, why did you scream your own name? <laughs> Allison! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Allison! <laughs> Allison Merlo! Yeah. What? <laughs> so you do have a name. So you do That's you. Me. Sorry. I'm Eileen Turner. For what it's worth. My middle name is Satan. <laughs> I quickly nod. <laughs> For all my nervousness about <laughs> maybe being somewhere. I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> I'm coming. Oh, okay, I'm coming. I shouldn't. Eileen doesn't actually I shouldn't. Eileen doesn't actually seem to care that much. In fact, she almost looks bored. If this room is used by a bunch of people, there's a good chance she might not know I'm an, an intruder. intruder. And is. <laughs> well, I'm going to close up the place if you want anything. Just grab it. Grabs tits. Yeah. Grabs its big eyes. <laughs> Not that I think you have anything here. Um, you don't know. The cold edge of her voice freezes my entire building. Um, Body. <laughs> my entire building. <laughs> my entire building. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I can explain. I can explain. I'm just looking at your paintings, tits. I'm sorry. Eileen narrows her eyes and crosses her arms, waiting for my response. A response which is interrupted by a familiar voice <laughs> booming from the entrance. Oh, man. Boom. Or, or just, I don't know. Just booming. What are you fucking laughing about, huh? Hey, Ollie. <laughs> I don't, I don't think, think I've ever been so glad to see Caprice, given this art club <laughs> business. Yeah, that's <laughs> I don't ever want to see Caprice until now. <laughs> given this art club business was her idea, it's for the best if she explains it all. Eileen doesn't look impressed as Caprice skips into the room, looking this way and that like what some tourist. What a cock block, right? Yeah, what a fucking... Like some tourist. Good work, you already found us a room. This will work perfectly. I'm glad you came back, to be honest. I like to bring your voice. I'm sure you do. So Caprice got herself a new gun. I wish I was surprised. Ooh, I don't think you're gonna be able to get Eileen into your club. In your pants? Into your pants, nope. Yeah. You're not supposed to agree with that. <laughs> and what do you want this room for, pray tell? We're trying to start an orgy club. Oh well, wow. Puts finger in mouth. <laughs> <laughs> the current heart club is awful, I'm sure you know. Uh yeah. It's like, it was my, I started that <laughs> It was my idea. So instead of dealing with them, we're going to f form our own. And it looks like you and Ali here found us like our club room. I see what's happened here now. Caprice engineered the situation so we'd all be here together. This isn't a very subtle scheme, but that's all the more reason for her to have come up with it. Yes. I try my best to backpedal in a way that doesn't upset either. I just thought we'd uh, draw a bit. Didn't mean to intrude. I just want to draw porn. I got permission to use this room to practice my painting. Not for some. <laughs> I mean, I can't say that. Uh, not for dumb, some dumb club. <laughs> Sorry, but it's two against one. Majority rule. You have to let this happen. <laughs> I didn't say anything about a club. <clears throat> well, too bad. This is a dick. Tatership. And I'm your dick. <laughs> and I'm your dick. Eileen stands her ground, staring down her opponent as I try my best to stay well out of their argument. Her resolve doesn't last long, though. Realizing the futility of it, she eventually heaves a sigh of Caprice's antics. Ah, much better! <laughs> I can't say I wholly blame her. Holy. Like the gingerbread man having sex or something. <laughs> <laughs> ah, much better! <laughs> I just can't wait to work in peace. That isn't too much to ask, you stupid cunts. <laughs> cunts. <laughs> cunts. But. I'm going. Not going to get anything more done today, anyway. And the Unless. <laughs> they like ball jump. Like um. Caprice and like Alice would jump on her. <laughs> <laughs> Unless. <laughs> Unless. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa. Eileen turns to me after picking up her coat from a desk and pulling her scarf around her. Rather pointedly being, being finished, finished with, with Caprice. Caprice. <laughs> I finished her off already, okay? <laughs> she was easy. Uh -huh. See you around. I guess. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Tell Rose I said hi. 
at a loss for how I'm supposed to respond to such an unenthusiastic tone, I'm left with standing silently by as a frustrated Eileen throws her backpack over her shoulder and strides out. Did Caprice, I do that? <laughs> Caprice just smiles and shrugs as she looks back at me. Back to me. The argument they had just moments ago flowing off her like water on a duck's oh my back. Gosh, on a dick's back. On a, on a cuck's back. <laughs> well, that's how it is. I feel like I got dragged into something. Dragged into something hot. I didn't really think that would work, but it's worth a try. She's not listening to me at all. Am I really just an instrument to try and win this argument between them? Mm -hmm. No. I can't think that Caprice... I can't think that. Caprice is... <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Forceful. forceful. Oh, she has whoa. tried to force herself on me <laughs> multiple times, but she means well. <laughs> if this did end up being a club, I'd probably enjoy it. Hmm. She probably wouldn't do it. Caprice certainly wouldn't make it dull, and I think if Eileen got to know me, she'd be nicer to me. But I don't want to risk Eileen getting even more annoyed with oh, me. Who cares? Well, she's a demon. Man, fuck Eileen. Oh, Feels like Eileen. <laughs> Go to hell. Go to hell. That's where I'm from. <laughs> Feels like I've been left to hunker down in a foxhole in no in man's foxhole. land. Foxhole. <laughs> and all I can do right now is hold my helmet on tight. Oh, that is a gosh. weird thing to say. On, on her head. As the orange of the sunset starts to wane outside. Wane. It sounds like rain. Wane's with, with world. Wane's world. Wane's world. Excellent. Oh, yeah. It, became, it becomes obvious that nothing, nothing more is going to get done today, just as Eileen said. I'd better head home. It's getting late. See you tomorrow. See so, ya. Yeah, if you ever want to draw, feel free to drop by the new club room. Precisely none of what Eileen said penetrated. Did it. Yeah, I better... I'd better leave before someone gets hurt. Right, put it like that, I guess. I just give a weak smile as I wave and as I wave and take my bag. Idly wondering if Rose will be cooking something for dinner or bringing home, take out it something more at home heartening to think about than today's efforts. Anyway, no one has any idea what was. Yeah, that. no, yeah, yeah. There's like, what's up? Is he doing a stroke? Like, <laughs> is he? It's a good question. Look at that. Is that Pepsi on the table? Is that a panda on the table? A panda? As I, as I collapse on the <laughs> They're eating couch. a panda. <laughs> They're eating a panda. As I collapse on the couch and settle in, the deafening sound of all the blaring horns of silence. <laughs> I don't know. There's just a bunch of like ambulances Did outside you, there. And then they have like an air horn. There's like air horns around. <laughs> and and shit. Of silence rushes in. I can't sleep otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> the odd passing car from the street below the apartment only highlights the quiet of the room. Plucking my phone from my pussy after dropping my bag on the cushion. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Just the idea of like plucking. I take quick note of the time. I guess I can't even see the time. It's not on the screen. I guess Rose got stuck. In traffic. In my pussy. pussy. An annoying train of thought starts up once again as I put it away. Ew. <laughs> Your pussy away. No, <laughs> Jam it out. One that's crept up on me occasionally ever since moving out. Just waiting for when nothing's... Around. Around to distract me. It wasn't that. I was just making sure that it did say nothing. No, around to distract me. I can cope with the schoolwork easily enough. It's mostly just review right now. People like Caprice might be a handful, but they do liven She's up the day's so routine. capricious. It's a fair distance to campus from here, but the walks help... The walk helps keep me fit. I bet you're just a skinny... Keeps me fit. The silence that I can't deal with. Grabbing the remote and flicking on the, the television telly. at least provides some background noise, but it's no replacement for the sounds of the... Of, of the home. Nom. Of nom. Of nom. <laughs> There's no... That's why the gun poster's on the back. Oh, yeah, you're right. There's no mother <sighs> busying herself over the cooking pot to welcome me home and ask how my day was. No excitable older brother brothers fighting about the silly thing or that no father for me to help happily help. see me come home from work that's definitely what it said it's just me now ever since the accident my fingers roll over the screen and thought as it brings up the lock screen mindlessly tra tracing out the cracks in the bottom corner i could easily call them right now my mom and dad both made it clear i could ring any time at all but as i stare at the screen a deep apathy strikes me before college I thought that with my family and, and old friends, just a phone call away, nothing would feel all that different. Wow. Are you keeping track of time? Yeah. Good. It's 2.10. Good. 
Okay. Maybe I just couldn't admit to myself how big of a change this would really be. Such a change is... Time to face my change. Admitting defeat, the phone ends up on the couch beside me as I watch television. The phone's just like, fuck this. <laughs> the news is interesting today, so at least it's some distraction from all this. No. Just when I thought I'd finally found a friend or two in college, it ends up being a fucking mess. Why do people have to be so complicated? I got to go and make things so complicated. It's too upset. And feel the way you... Acting like you're somebody else gets, gets me, me frustrated. frustrated. I'm at a demon at the vending machine. <laughs> I don't be so complicated. As the door behind me opens, I close my thoughts on the subject. I don't want her to see into them. There's no mm-hmm. point in <laughs> mulling things over any further. <laughs> I close my legs. <laughs> I close my legs too. I, I, I mean, I, I pull my, my pussy phone. back out again. So. My Another achievement. La- wow. That's Look, actually really good art. Act oh, one. that's only act one. Do I want to stop here? Keep going. We could no, we could stop. I guess yeah. Okay, let's keep going. I mean, oh, you want to keep going? Let's keep going. Okay. All over your cock. I'm gonna feel my cock on your shoulder. <laughs> the Saturday's morning air is brisk as I stagger, stagger, stagger <clears throat> back from the apart uh, supermarket. Hands smelling full of alcohol. <laughs> hands full with bags. The apartment itself may be nothing to write home about, but it's certainly in a good location. I still don't feel like I've been pulling my weight when it comes to daily life with Rose. But at least I can help with errands like groceries. <laughs> Her attempts to teach me handiwork skills have been ooh, less successful. Ooh. I'll show you handiwork skills, baby. Even this as much a, has <laughs> been a learning experience. My parents usually doing the shopping back when I lived with them. <laughs> that sucks, bitch. Uh, reaching what the apartment. What is apart- she doing? She's <laughs> sliding back from side to side. <laughs> reaching the apartment. She's I a fu- demon too. I find Rose. <laughs> Uh, crouched outside and working on her motorbike. Ooh. She's the one who owns the motorbike. She looks perfectly content as she whiles away her time with tools spread around her, and one of them being an actual tool, like a person. Ooh. Uh, that as was if fucking, <laughs> fucking hot. <laughs> as if a child happily playing with her favorite toys. Ooh. 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 <laughs> working on the bike again. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that was quick. Oh, hey, she come up out of nowhere. She leaves herself. He levers herself up with a grunt before pulling back the edges of one bag, with a finger to peer in. Looking at the groceries. Oh, is that me? Yeah. No, it's me. Mouse peered back at me ominously. No, we we moved on to another game. Are you ready? For now. Oh, I'm ready. Okay then, Henry. Take me. Take me as I am. Oh. You just kept rereading the same line. No. Was, Did you move on? I was reading fan fiction. Oh, what I made of this? No, that I made. The bus. Your earbuds like right under me. I don't want to break it. Anymore. You break it, you cock it. Okay. Headphones. Oh, all right. All right. Uh, she levers herself up the ground before pulling back the edge of her one bag with a finger to peer and then another I'm a little worried as she I'm a little worried as she checks, checks over my work, my work. Uh, okay having to hold my breath as she does isn't exactly helping I'm and still she's not... holding her breath for her yeah <laughs> I'm still not used to the acrid smell of her smoking of and her, her fucking <laughs> and everything about her is just so acrid it's gross but maybe that's a good thing <laughs> I mean that's a good thing that she's disgusting it's a good thing yeah it's a good thing she's actually a disgusting good person good work given no like weird impulse buys do we need more window cleaner though? You I'll clean your bitch. window and your wall. <laughs> to the window, to your mall. You said to grab necessities yeah, if they're on sale and then and don't spoil, right? You're learning. What? Could you help me down here once Ooh. you put everything away? I need another set of feet. <laughs> <laughs> She's into feet. <laughs> <laughs> Without anything in particular planned for today, I agree. Before heading inside, let go of me, I can't do it. The rickety stairs creak as I slowly head up with the groceries in hand, fumbling with the door handle. Fumble, fumble. fumble. My arms are thankful for the relief once I manage to drop the bags in the apartment after opening the door. What are you doing to your knee right now, bro? Your mom. That's gross. Yeah. Uh, opening the fridge, I get to work stuffing in the frozen and cold items first. <laughs> stuffing in this. Uh, stuffing in. Uh. <laughs> Next, I open the cabinet Can you help doors. Help me out here. No, just a sec. I'm, I'm almost done. Uh. Next, I open the cabinet doors and start lo- uh, 
What? Open, open the cabinet doors and start ladling in the cans and boxes. Ladling. That's what it says, ladling? Yeah. <laughs> she ladling. You just grabbed a ladle grabbed and started ladle. putting Put it in. in. That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> oh my god. As, Love shop. As the empty shelves fill, I get not a sense of satisfaction <laughs> from caring for myself. I, I know. I'm trying to grab my earbuds. My headphone cord and you're grabbing me. <laughs> <laughs> like stop, bro. <laughs> Living as an adult. Living work. as an adult and busy work is rewarded. It's rewarding in its own way. There's an odd and unexpected feeling of accomplishment from doing even simple tasks. I'm sure to wear off in time, but I'm holding on to it for now.